Bert works for Atlas Copco, assembling compressors. Hi, Big Bert. But careful. What happens to them once they leave the factory? One day, Bert takes a trip to find out. Hello. Hi, Bert. You're very welcome. Come on in. We use compressed air for all the pumps. It's for safety reasons, so there's no electricity. And we use a lot of the compressed air for controlling the pug mills. And afterwards, when we're making molds, we use compressed air in that. And we also use compressed air in cleaning the pots when we get down to the pottery. Perfect. It's all to do with energy. We wanted to save energy, and we wanted something much more efficient, quite silent, and something that didn't take up too much space. And here we are. It's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Just back from Ireland, Bert goes deep undercover at the Clinique Saint-Jean in Brussels. Hello. A risky pyjama infiltration mission. Which brings Bert to the hospital's central compressor room. What do you do with this compressor? In the operation quarter, if the patient is asleep, we use this airlift to the patient in a correct way to ventilate. We use it to the chirurgical tools and to use it to medication in the lungs of the patient to get through the middle of aerosol. Afterwards, Bert goes to Cologne, home to the German Aerospace Center. Bert? 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 André Langfeld Rosner wartet auf Sie. Wollen Sie mitkommen? Ja. Hier, he finds one of the largest models currently manufactured by Atlas Copco. Wir brauchen ihn, um die Eintrittsatmosphäre in unsere Brennkammertests darzustellen, weil wir halt keine ganzen Triebwerke oder Kraftwerksmaschinen testen, sondern uns die Einzelkomponenten anschauen. Okay, and now I use my compressor. Das ist auch eine Geschichte. Wir haben nebenan sechs alte Maschinen stehen und die werden jetzt durch deinen Kompressor hier ersetzt. Und damit sparen wir eine ganze Menge Energie. Kannst du vorstellen. En route for Switzerland and the snow-covered slopes of Crans, Montana. I made this one. Hey, je vois que Monsieur est un connaisseur. Il fabrique de la neige. Alors le procédé est simple. On mélange l'air comprimé à un petit peu d'eau et on crée ainsi des microcristaux de glace dans l'atmosphère. Et on les mélange ensuite à de fines gouttelettes d'eau. Ça va créer de la neige. Votre compresseur, il est parfait pour nous car il crée de l'air comprimé sans huile et donc pur et respectueux de l'environnement. On peut constamment adapter sa puissance selon nos besoins. Now, Bert is truly convinced. Compressed air is everywhere. 